Design Linger, and I design sensory wearables. They're based on the sensory processing disorder, um, which ranges from ADD to autism. This one is a heart rate sensor inflatable. So when your heart races, this one, when you, your heartbeat gets past 89 beats per minute, it inflates and it calms you down. <laughs> is it working? <laughs> it's, it's actually a, we hacked a blood pressure monitor. Um, and it's a very small pump, so it takes okay. a really long time. <laughs> okay. So the idea is along the idea of people watching Temple Grandin and yes. seeing the hug machine that she created. Is this the similar idea? Yes, this is the wearable version of Okay. Like the bear hug. Oh, awesome. So it slowly inflates and it goes ahead and, and uh, does that. That's very interesting. How did you get interested in doing, uh, doing wearable or adaptive for, for people with those kind of issues? Well, it started in grad school, but I'm also a physical therapist. Okay. So I started with body awareness and got really interested in pregnancy and sensory processing disorder because it, it's such a range. It is. I feel like it encompasses everybody from ADD, like everybody has a little bit. Yeah, exactly. We all have a little bit of it. <laughs> spastic in day-to-day life a little yes. bit as well. Yes. That's great. Wow, fabulous. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you going to continue on down these, these kind of roads? Is that what your interest is, is just to continue developing these kind of uh, technologies? Yes. Do you, do you have a next incarnation for this, or are you going to head in a different direction this year? Um, I'm working on a, another one that you can access yourself, kind okay. of like the airplane inflatable. Okay. Um, but I have a whole series on my website, sensory.com. Okay, sensory.com. Like a whole store.